Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the Fracture Modifier. The Fracture Modifier is something I've just found for Blender and I've really had a lot of fun playing with it. I'll teach you how to install it in this tutorial. Go to this website here. Download what you need over here. Once it's downloaded, open it up. And extract it to this directory here. After you've extracted it, make sure you have this config folder right there. If you don't have it, add a new one. And then open Blender from this icon here. Once you do so, you'll have the fracture modifier enabled. Fracture. Since it's a physics modifier, all the settings for it are in the physics tab. Uh, to get started playing with it, I'm not going to teach you everything there is to know about it here, uh, but in order to get started playing with it, you set your parameters, hit enable fracture, which is a lot like baking, uh, fluid simulation. It adds a rigid body constraint to it, since all the uh, objects are going to have their own uh, physics simulation. And then if you press play, not a whole lot's going to happen now because it doesn't have anything to hit. But if we go to uh, grab that on the Z and add a plane for it to run into, you'll see some stuff start to happen. Let's make sure this is, let's actually just delete these and make a new one and execute the fracture and push play and it breaks when it hits the ground and just like the cell fracture add-on there's a lot of parameters here that you can change to make it so that you know your point of impact might have more shards or you, the, some shards might break again like you see here each time you change a parameter though you have to hit the execute fracture again you can check the auto execute there to make things a little bit quicker and there's just things for you to play with. We'll get into that in other tutorials. Um, but that gets you started in how to install it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them below.